Uncovering the untold story. Inside El Chapo's prison security, how one of the world's most wanted criminals escaped twice. Today, we're delving into the fascinating and harrowing story of one of the world's most notorious criminals, El Chapo. Despite being one of the most closely guarded criminals, El Chapo managed to escape twice from high security prisons. How did he do it? What were the security measures in place? And what can we learn from his incredible escapes? El Chapo's first prison escape was in 2001 from the Puente Grande prison in Mexico. He was able to escape by hiding in a laundry cart that was wheeled out of the prison by one of his associates, who worked in the laundry room. El Chapo was then loaded into a waiting car and driven to safety. According to reports, the prison officials were complicit in the escape as they had turned off the prison's surveillance cameras and opened the doors to El Chapo's cell block to allow his escape to take place. It's believed that El Chapo had bribed several prison officials to help him carry out the escape. The escape was a major embarrassment for the Mexican government, as El Chapo was one of the country's most wanted criminals at the time. The Mexican authorities launched a massive manhunt to recapture him but he was able to evade capture for more than a decade before being arrested again in 2014. El Chapo's second prison escape occurred in 2015 from the Altiplano prison in Mexico. The prison was considered to be one of the most secure in the country, with multiple layers of security measures in place to prevent escapes. Despite these measures, El Chapo was able to escape through a tunnel that was dug underneath his cell. The tunnel was over a mile long and had been equipped with ventilation, lighting, and a motorcycle on rails to transport El Chapo through the tunnel. It's believed that El Chapo had help from both inside and outside the prison to carry out the escape. He had reportedly bribed prison officials and his associates had purchased land near the prison to use as a staging area for the escape. The escape was a significant embarrassment for the Mexican government and highlighted the country's ongoing struggles with corruption and violence. The government launched a massive manhunt to recapture El Chapo and he was eventually apprehended in 2016. So was El Chapo able to carry out his escapes alone? Or did he have help from others? During his first escape in 2001 from the Puente Grande prison in Mexico, it's believed that El Chapo had bribed several prison officials to help him carry out the escape. The prison officials had reportedly turned off the prison's surveillance cameras and opened the doors to El Chapo's cell block to allow his escape to take place. Additionally, one of El Chapo's associates who worked in the prison's laundry room helped him hide in a laundry cart and was instrumental in wheeling him out of the prison. During his second escape in 2015 from the Altiplano prison in Mexico, it's believed that El Chapo had help from both inside and outside the prison to carry out the escape. He had reportedly bribed prison officials, and his associates had purchased land near the prison to use as a staging area for the escape. Additionally, the construction of the tunnel was likely carried out by a team of individuals who were hired by El Chapo's associates. So, it's safe to say that El Chapo did not carry out his prison escapes alone, and he had a network of individuals who were willing to help him with his escape attempts. What impact did El Chapo's escapes have on the prison system, and the broader public perception of the criminal justice system? El Chapo's escapes had a significant impact on the prison system, and the broader public perception of the criminal justice system in Mexico. The escapes highlighted the deep-seated corruption that exists within the Mexican government and law enforcement agencies. The escapes raised serious questions about the effectiveness of Mexico's prison system and the ability of law enforcement to keep dangerous criminals behind bars. It also highlighted the need for better prison security and more effective measures to prevent corruption and bribery. The escapes also had a profound impact on the public perception of the criminal justice system in Mexico. They further eroded public trust in the government and law enforcement agencies, which were already struggling with a reputation for corruption and human rights abuses. The escapes sent a message to the public that the powerful and wealthy can operate outside the law with impunity, and that Mexico's justice system is unable to hold them accountable. Overall, El Chapo's escapes were a wake-up call for Mexico and highlighted the urgent need for reforms in the country's prison system and law enforcement agencies. Law enforcement faced several challenges in recapturing El Chapo after his prison escapes. One of the biggest challenges was El Chapo's extensive network of associates 
and their ability to provide him with safe houses, transportation, and protection. El Chapo was able to move around the country undetected, and law enforcement struggled to track his movements and locate him. Another challenge was corruption within law enforcement agencies. El Chapo was known to bribe police officers and other government officials, which helped him avoid capture. In some cases, law enforcement officers were actively working with El Chapo and his associates to provide them with information and protection. Finally, El Chapo's wealth and resources allowed him to hire top lawyers and mount a formidable legal defense, which made it challenging for law enforcement to build a case against him. 